Hello everyone. It is lunchtime. Just bringing it up on my laptop so I can make sure I'm in the right place and I can see your comments. So hello. Happy New Year. Once again, it is January the 13th. Kind of hard to believe that that's already half gone. I just don't know where all this time keeps going. It really is crazy. But I'll give everybody just a second to come on. And uh, I'll fill you in on some things that have been happening. Let me see. Um, gosh, Daniel's dog had surgery this week. She's doing well, but I am having to be the nurse. And of course, I'm giving her tons of tender, loving care. because She deserves every bit of it. In addition to that... Please keep Lindsay and Tyler in your prayers because they are at the hospital right now and they are inducing Lindsay today. So hard to believe this will be my fifth grandbaby. So hard because I, I didn't know if I'd have any or maybe just one. Um, but boy, I've been praying and God's been blessing. So hopefully today, little Everett Gray will come safely into the world and we'll just have one more little grandbaby to love on because they really are God's greatest gift. They really are. So, hey, Donna, glad you're here. Hello, Barb, just gave my little update. And um, yeah, life is good. It's gonna be hard to focus today. And I do have my phone in the room, so I apologize in advance if anybody calls. I promise you, if it's a telemarketer, I will quickly kick them to the curb. But if it's Tyler, y'all have to play second fiddle. because so I just know what's going on. So anyways, today I want to share with you one of the most gorgeous bundles in our January through June mini catalog. This is called Sand and Sea. And at first, of course, I loved it. Definitely loved the stamp set. Wasn't sure about the framelits, but now that I know how they're used, it's genius. I'm telling you. So I'm going to walk you through all that, but this is on page 40 and 41. And it is called the Sand and Sea Suite. And then you have all of these amazing products that go with it. So if you want to get everything, which one day I will be learning how to do because I eventually get it anyways, um, you can order the whole collection right here. And it's only $92, but that is everything. From the specialty paper, the designer paper, the dies, the embossing folder. And keep in mind with Celebration, you're only $8 away from earning two free items with Celebration. So let me go ahead and introduce you to this, these products. As I said, the first thing you have is the stamp set. And this caught my eye right from the start because I love the words. Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. Um, love you to the beach and back. It's no longer to the moon. It's to the beach and back. Wishing me the very best. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. You are unique and amazing. So many different sayings with this set. It's a 23 piece set and it is photopolymer. But this is not only amazing, so are the dies. Now that I know how to use them. So what you have, these are the dies that come with it. So you have this large die and then you have these little ones here. Now they actually coordinate with the stamps and the, st and the uh, stamp set. So that's great, that was a given, I understood that. This large one was one I didn't understand, but then when I saw how versatile it was, totally, totally sold me. So what's great about this great big one, and I'm gonna show you all of this, is you can actually cut this out on a piece of paper and these stamps in here fit these shells. Now you just got another die that's gonna cut out all these shells right here. So I thought that was pretty smart instead of making all of these individual. But typical Stampin' Up, they thought it all the way through. And then they have the um, Seashells 3D embossing folder. So this folder is gorgeous whether it's embossed, but you guessed it, it also coordinates with this large die. So just hang with me and I'm, we're gonna do this real time so you can see it all, but this is the folder. So again, if you just wanna use a folder, it's absolutely gorgeous, but 
The great part is, is if you cut out from the dies, it fits perfect in that folder. So we will discover and explore that just some more in just a minute. But in addition to that, you have the beautiful Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. Now this first piece, um, I've already cut them to make our projects because I'm going to be showing you how to make a beautiful calendar with all of this. But this is one piece. I just already have it cut. Uh, but I can tell I'm going to need more. Then you have these beautiful shells. I know they have a name. Somebody give a shout out. Hey, Amy, I'm glad you could join me. I know you've got that cute little baby there with you. We're going to teach him how to stamp young. But what kind of shell is this? Y'all know. I know I should, it's not a sand dollar. It is, somebody give a shout out. It's one of my favorite ones because it's like a puffy shell. There's my sand dollars. We have this designer paper. And then we have a beautiful design on the back. Everybody loves starfish. So these are my great papers. And again, I love this beautiful design that could be used for so many different things. Thank you, Stacy. It's a sea urchin. Thank you. Again, my mind is elsewhere with the grandbaby on the way, so I'm trying to focus on stamping at least for the next 30 minutes. But we have the blues. We have these. Now this is fun with all the different um, designs and the dots coming down. You have this, which is beautiful because you can actually cut these shells out if you want. Um, you would cut them by hand, but they are still beautiful. And then this just reminds me of the, the sand on a beach. I have plans for this sheet. So that's your designer paper. And it's uh, six sheets, 12 designs, two sheets of each. Now, what really is one of the stars of the show, I don't know if you could see it on the screen, but it is called the Pearlescent Specialty Paper. And this is gorgeous. It's thin. It is great to stamp on. If you do stamp on it, give it just a minute uh, for your ink to dry because it's not a real porous type cardstock. It has the shine and the shim on it. So it'll take just a minute, but you can stamp on it no problem at all. And again, this is one of the stars of the show. Love it. Then you also have the opal rounds. So these are really cute. A nice accent, two different designs, and you can take your blends and you can color them any color you want. So now they're going to go with any card. So let me show you. I'm going to show you what I'm making, and then I'm going to backtrack and show you how some of this works together. Every year, I need a desk calendar because one of the first things I do when I get up is try to think, oh my goodness, what day is it? Um, life is busy. It's good, but it's busy and you better be on the right day. So I am going to show you and give you all the measurements how to create this, but I wanted to first just back up and show you that stamp set and the dies and the different things that it can do. So as I said, you have the stamp set. You have this die, and keep in mind, with this die, it cuts out all these shells. So if you want, you could just stamp a shell on a piece of cardstock, line it right up in here, and then run it through your die cutting machine, and you're going to get your seashells already cut. You don't have to use your scissors, because I know we have all gotten pretty spoiled um, by having our dies. The other really neat thing is if you want, you can take this. I've already cut this out of a piece of very vanilla cardstock. And I can stamp my shells on here. I'm going to try to do it. Usually I have to have my nose right over the top. Hopefully I can get it pretty close. Or you're going to see my head. So it's nice with photopolymer because you can see through it. So I have a shell. That one. Then I'm gonna take, that was Blushing Bride. Then I'm going to take the Seaside Spray. And I will take this shell. Again, if I was right over the top, that'd be perfect, but 
We know there's really no perfect on this side of heaven anyways. Thankful for that. So I will take this one. Oh my goodness, this is a guess. I need to put my nose under there. Okay, close enough counts. Which I always say anyways, not bad. I have my shell there. And this here, which coordinates with this designer paper, this is really pretty. It's called Seaside Spray. And then last but not least, I'm going to use the soft seafoam green for these smaller shells. So I will just take this one, put it in the middle there, and then this little guy, and put it here. So right there, you have five shells. Now what's so nice that I was telling you about is if you take the 3D embossing folder, hopefully you can see this, this, let me show you, is the exact, and I do mean exact, it goes right into that folder. It's so easy to see. So it fits in there, and then I'm just gonna take it to my die cutting machine here to the left. I'll close that. Actually, I'll bring it here. I normally don't do this um, because it makes everything wobbly, but I'm gonna put this in here on the plate. Let me make sure I lined it up again. I think I moved. So I will put this in here. Because again, I wanted you to see this. See how they're just stamped? That's pretty close. But they're just stamped on there. Now I'm going to give it the texture that it needs that makes it come to life. So I'm just going to put it on my plate. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. Nice and easy. And then when I take it out of the folder... You can hopefully see the texture that each shell has. So from this point, you can either put it on a card as this, or you can just do a little bit of snipping because these edges come off. And you are going to have individual shells. So it really is... Very, very versatile. Let me come on this little guy. Just snip those off. I have to do a swap this weekend with this card and I this bundle, and I cannot wait. Cannot wait to create more with it. So that's how you would have all of your individual shells. Now the pearlescent paper is gorgeous. And this here, this is what it looked like. Flat. So again, I could go ahead and stamp on this and just give it a minute to dry because our inks are a water-based ink. Normally they dry very quickly on a porous sheet of paper, but just make sure they're dry. That's a few seconds. And then when I put this through the folder, it really comes to life because now it has that sheen that most um, shells have. And so this is what I'm going to use to make my calendar. So let's do that. And the great thing is, my special for um, January is anybody who places an order on my website, thecreatingwithcolleen.com, and uses this host code, I will mail you one of these calendars already made up for free. So you know what I'll be doing this afternoon while I'm waiting for that baby to arrive. So let's get started. Here's what you will need. You're gonna need a little calendar I think in a Word document, some people have printed them off. I purchased my calendars from a place called vippies.com. V-I-P-P-I-E-S.com. And um, you can get them all different sizes. I almost wish I would have gotten it a little bit smaller because I want to see more of my shells. But seeing as I'm over 50 and my eyes need a bigger print, this is what I went with. Now for the base of your False call, false, false alarm. I thought it was my son. So I told you I would um, block anybody but him. And my mother knows I'm doing this, so she better not call. <laughs> so anyways, that's the beauty of a live, y'all. Um, but you're going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock, four and a quarter by 11, and I just scored it in half at five and a half. So I have my cardstock like that. Now for the base, 
The base is actually four and a quarter, because it's gonna get put on like this. It's four and a quarter by four. And I scored it at a half inch, two inch, and three and a half inches. So that's gonna make the base. But then when we decorate the other part, I have a piece of the um, Seaside Spray cardstock. That is four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a piece of that gorgeous designer paper. And you could have even put it like that, but I love this side. Because again, I want the star to show to be my, um, my seashells. So this is four by five and a quarter. Oh, I'll leave them all on there so you can take a picture. Okay. And then to back up my little frame, I just cut another piece of the seaside spray, and that is three and an eighth by two and a half. And then, of course, our gorgeous pearlescent shells. And I'm going to put a little bit of color in those, and I'll show you that too. So to put your base together, you are going to take this piece here. You're going to fold it in half where those score lines are, and then just fold these pieces up on the end, those half inches. Because this basically, it's kind of like, you can look at it as a W or an M, but this is going to go inside. I'm going to put it with the half inch going up, and then it's going to go like that, I'll show you. So this is the look that you're going for in the end. So you can use a lot of different adhesives. I am going to use our uh, tear and tape. That's pretty strong. And uh, so I will put it on here. And to be honest with you, I really like our Stamp and Seal now and the Stamp and Seal Plus. That too would be great to hold. And I'm going to tell you right now, it would be easier to get the little paper off because when people are watching, this is hard to get off. So if you weren't here, it'd come right off. But I just take a little uh, something pointy and kind of pull up. And there's your tape. Good, I hope it makes a liar out of me today. Be easy, yay! There we go. So when I have this, again, I probably could have waited to just leave that other piece on. Whoops, there's my light. Sorry about that. Okay, so for this, I'm going to take with the cut side up and I will put that at the bottom of my base. Then when I have this folded like such, I can really just go ahead and shut it. And that gives me my, my calendar base. Very, very easy. Now I'm gonna take my four by five and a quarter designer paper and my four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock, and I'm just going to mount those two together. So I will put this as such. And then this is going to go on to the front of my calendar base. And I do love the new um, stamp and seal. It is really strong. Sometimes too strong when you do something and then you have to pull it back up like I so often do. Because you know I want it just perfect. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So there's my card base there. My calendar base. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this three and an eighth by two and a half piece of the Seaside Spray. And again, these are the calendars from vippies.com. So they do have a self-adhesive piece there, but I like to go ahead and put an extra strip on the bottom too. And again, these are my lifesaver at my desk. And Danny even made me one to put in his truck, um, but he said I didn't have to decorate it. I just have to give him this with tape on the back and he puts it on his dash. But I'm gonna take this and I'll put this on when I am done with my uh, pearlescent uh, shells here. So I wanna add some color, but I don't wanna add a lot of color because I want a lot of this pearliness. It's gonna show through even with the color, but I just want something very soft. So what Stampin' Up! just came out with their brand of blending brushes. So I just keep them in one of our old wood cases. And I technically, I don't wash these. You just need a microfiber cloth. And oh my goodness, you can get these very inexpensive anywhere. And I think they have them like in the auto department at your, your big name stores or um, 
It's kind of a tool thing, believe it or not. But anyways, when I go to clean them, I just wipe it on here and it doesn't even look like anything comes off. You could wash these, they say, but they hold water a lot. So I would not wash them. I would just get microfiber when you have to go through your different colors. And what I'm doing is I am gonna have one for blue, one for greens, one for oranges, or my pinks. And then I will probably get another set to go with some other colors like the browns or the different ones I need. But they are great because when we normally would do our sponging, I love sponging, but a lot of times you got the texture of the sponge. This is very, very soft. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna take my Blushing Bride and I'm going to tap it in here on the tip and I'm gonna come just a little bit again. I don't wanna cover the whole thing, but I can kind of go in a circular motion on this side of my shell. I hope you can see that. So just a little bit of color there. Then I'm going to, um, let me take the Seaside Spray, put lotions on my hands so they wouldn't be so dry before I started stamping and everything's a little slippery. So next I'm just gonna take the Seaside Spray and again, just a little bit of blue on the top. Ever so soft. And even though you're not gonna see this shell, that was the only other thing. I, like I said, I wish I would have gone with maybe a smaller calendar because I really wanted you to see it. I can come back with my Blushing Bride, a little bit on this shell, a little bit on that shell. Let me close those. And then last but not least, I'm going to go to the Soft Seafoam Green. And for the seaweed, I'm just going to bring it in there. And this is a very, very soft green. But again, with the pearlescent paper shining through, that's all you really need, just a hint of color. A little bit over here. And a little bit on this one. And here, if you can see it, let me pull it up. Let's see, hopefully you can. Here you could see the color. And even though I went very light, you can just um, see how it just gives it that shimmer. So now what I'll do is I'll take this and I'm gonna glue it right on top of my uh, calendar base. And I like to use the liquid Tombow glue it's very strong, it really holds, and it dries quick. We have different glues for different reasons, and uh, this is one of my go-to glues, so I do like it. Just hit a couple of those, and always when you use liquid glue, always remember a lighter hand is better. We don't have to put it on like we did our Emler's glue um, when we were in elementary school, and it oozed out the sides. So now that I have this, I'm just gonna put this over the top. And I'll just tack it there, but then I always like to turn it over and rub in case I have ink on my hands or, um, you know, this way I'm not catching any of the edges. So hello, Julie, happy new year to you too. Glad you could join us for lunch today. As I said, Stacy and Donna and Barb, thank you gals. So here I have the actual um, shells on here. I'm gonna take my calendar base and I will put on four dimensionals because I want that to pop up just a little bit. There we go. And I am gonna bring it down just a little bit more than my other one so I can really see those shells. And then you just need a piece of scrap paper. And again, I love the words in this set. So with this one, I will stamp it. This is in soft suede. 
And it says, friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. And that is so true. To me, friends are always one of the biggest blessings in life. So I'm just going to take my paper snips. And I'm just going to give it a soft cut all the way around here. I thought of trying to find a matching punch, but I was afraid with the punches that it would, like if I did an oval, I would have too much white space. And again, I wanna see as much of my shells as I can. So I'm just going to come around. And you just can't, when you do have to cut, you cannot be a good pair of paper snips. We do have the best scissors ever. All right. So very simple, I just cut that out. And again, I will put my shells on. Ah, <laughs> hey Liz, I totally agree. Liz says, how beautiful, now I need that set. Liz, uh, Liz, you need to go back and watch the beginning of this live because I showed how the designer paper, not the designer paper, how the um, dies coordinate with the embossing folder it's just an amazing bundle. So anyways, anyways, everybody who places an order on, uh, again, in January, you can go to my blog, mycreatingwithcolleen.com, and use this hostess code. I will mail you one of these completed calendars as my thank you. And don't forget that it is celebration. So celebration is only for two months. And again, with our celebration, whenever you place a $50 purchase or $100 purchase, you get to pick items. It's for every 50, but we have some great deals in the back. Whoops, if I can get there. So this again is in addition to any hostess benefits, everybody is eligible for the free celebration items. And I will be using some of those in the future too because they have been a lot of fun and I love this little darling donkey set. And as I have show, showcased celebration the last couple weeks, the designer papers are just beautiful in here. So be sure to take advantage of that. And, oh, Tracy's on. Hey, Tracy. Uh, she says it's her last live until May. Her semester starts today, but she'll continue to watch her videos on replay. Thank you, Tracy. I really appreciate that. And I think that is a really cool thing about a live is that you can join me live and I love that because it can get lonely in the stamp room. Um, so I'm here, but at the same time, you could always come back and watch it at your convenience. Thanks, Tracy. So um, again, feel free to purchase. I would love for you to do that. If you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel and click that little bell to be notified when I uh, post videos. I typically try to do one a week and it is the one that I do on live, but you never know, we might throw a couple extras in there. And if you are on my Facebook page, please like and share my page. All of this technology is new to me. Um, I have muddled through the last year, but I gotta say, I love it because even though we have to stay safer and closer to home, I still get to be with all of you because I just couldn't imagine the alternative. So that is our lunch today. And um, thank you for joining me again. If you have any questions about anything, again, celebration, we have a awesome starter kit special where you get $125 in free pot product. You only pay $99. And in addition to that, you are going to get five packs of designer paper for free. And they are the five packs that are um, going to be in our upcoming June catalog. So thank you again. I appreciate you. And I will keep you posted on that little grandbaby when he arrives. And um, it should be sometime today. So please keep Tyler and Lindsay in your prayers. And let me just say, God is good. We are blessed. And again, thank you for joining me. So happy stamping. And I hope you will join me next Wednesday when I see you again. Take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs>